In this video, we are going to set up a Huawei device that is running Harmony OS Next or Harmony OS 5. This includes Google services, Huawei ID, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and the camera. You will find the list on the left side of the screen all the time. Welcome to Verumtech. Here I have the Pura 80 Ultra, the Chinese version, running Harmony OS Next. It is not an Android based device. I honestly bought this one instead of the Android version because I thought that it would be a better optimized device between the software and the hardware. Of course, I wanted the best of the best, also that it has a bigger battery. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get rid of all the apps that we don't need. For this, we will put two fingers on the screen and drag them towards each other, just like this. Then we can mark all the apps we want to uninstall, then drag them up to the right corner where we can see the trash bin. Once we are done with that, we can go to the app gallery, we can press on search here we need to change the language on the keyboard otherwise it's gonna be very hard getting the words out press on hold on the globe icon down on the left then press on more here press on add keyboard and download your desired language once we got that done we can press on the editing button up in the right corner delete the Chinese keyboard then hit the check mark up in the right corner again going back to the app gallery to download Google we can do it by searching the word Google or easy abroad we can install the app easy abroad right away or we can press on download Google which will tell us to download easy abroad first here we can hit the OK button then we need to log in to our Huawei ID to be able to download the apps okay so here's how I did it I went on my PC and I searched for id.huawei.com then press on the register button up in the right corner then register with the phone number now to the most important part of this we have to choose China as a region here is why I'll give you an example at first when I got the device I chose my region of course which is Italy but then I had no access to any of the Huawei apps it kept giving me the error not supported in your region so that meant no working AI features in the photo gallery no health app no cloud nothing but when I had set the region to China instead I could use all of the features all right once we got that done we can go to the account settings and under account and security press on link email address then we can use the credentials using the email address to log into the app gallery and hit agree there is where we will find all the western apps like google whatsapp and others but not snapchat that we will get to later in the video all right now we can open the easy abroad app allow notifications and then go to the search bar and search for the other apps that we desire once we get that done we can log in to the google account this works just like on android devices it's enough to log in in one of the apps and it will be automatically logged in everywhere else we can see our google account up in the right corner in the easy abroad app all right moving on to snapchat snapchat is missing from easy abroad but there is a solution of course downloading the apk file would solve the issue but only halfway let me show you we can search for the snapchat apk file online let's say we already downloaded the apk file normally we would open it from chrome download right in this case it wouldn't work because it will try to install it through easy abroad remember google is still inside the easy abroad system to solve this issue we have to go to the file manager app on the phone then go to my phone go to compatible data folder and then the download folder and after that press on the apk file that we have downloaded now we can open the file with droiton with droiton we can install the apk file and we can do that with many apk files but snapchat wouldn't work due to the issue with missing google services let me explain google services is working through easy abroad and not through droiton to solve this issue we need to first uninstall the snapchat app but don't delete the apk file from the download folder we're gonna need that for later now go to google and find an older version from 2023 like this one this is the version that worked for me 12.65.0.38 we can find the file online just by searching for this exact file name then installing it using the same steps as before through the file manager going to my phone compatible data download folder once we get that installed we can open the app and sign in then after signing in we can go back to the file manager and install the newer version that didn't work for us earlier now that we are logged in already it will only update the app to the latest version without logging us out and here we can see that we are running the latest version version 13.3.1 at the time of creating this video. Fun fact, in Snapchat the optical zoom works on the Huawei, it switches between the lenses, but not on an Android device like the Vivo X200 Ultra. Alright, so what about WhatsApp? Here is the thing, 
WhatsApp works fine. You can recover your data from the WhatsApp backup on your Google Drive, just like any Android device. It works fine, but there is one issue and it's a huge issue. So recovering your files works fine, but when I try to backup the data on my drive through the WhatsApp app, it just got stuck on preparing to backup. I tried reinstalling the app, resetting the phone, but nothing. So now I'm using WhatsApp on this device as a secondary device. I still do my backups through my Vivo X200 Ultra. This is a deal breaker for me, of course. For sure, there is a solution for this, but I just don't know it yet. And if you know the solution, I would appreciate if you could share it in the comments so we can help each other. Moving on to the camera settings. In the camera app, we can skip the first part. Press on the arrow on the bottom of the screen and then on the settings wheel. Remember, everything I'm doing here is to my own liking. You can choose what works for you. Alright, photo format I will leave as JPEG. Audio control I will set to cheese, my preferred for minimal movement while taking a photo. Enhance images. I will activate this even though it takes longer time to process. I want that bit of extra megapixel. I will turn off AI ultra quality. Then for the video resolution, I will set it to 4K and the frame rate to 60. Here I will turn on assistive grid and horizontal level. The watermark should of course be turned on for these videos so that everyone can see the settings used for each photo. Now we can go back and go to portraits. Here I will of course turn off the beauty mode. I prefer things natural. And that's it for the camera settings. Alright friends, that was it for this video. We got most of the things working, but sadly we cannot back up the data from WhatsApp. If you have some solutions, please share them in the comments so that we can help each other. By the way, the sponsor of this video are you my friends. I would appreciate if you could like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.